Hello, my fellow brick stackers. It's Chris, and I am coming to you with another Lego haul. Um, went to Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, and my discount chain that I hit up with the salvage uh, products. And <clears throat> with the Walmart I went to was one I haven't been to in this area, in the new area that I live in now. And I was coming back on a uh, trip from another location today on a road trip from for other personal reasons and I decided just to swing by it's about six miles off the road out of my way and I said I'll check it out I've never been over there and it wasn't a big one it was one of those little smaller Walmarts um, so I went in and this is what I found I found two of six zero zero four six helicopter surveillance and it was 50% off I I don't hardly ever find 50% off at Walmart um, and I was, I was happy to see that. So I did get two of them. Here's the other, and it doesn't have a sticker on it, I don't think. It was behind some mis, uh, museum break-ins that were full price. So didn't get the museum break-ins, but I did pick up two of these. So 50% off, good part out, babe. Happy with that. Next, I think I only got seven of these. These were also 50% off, 70721, and this is the Kai Fighter. Uh, you've seen this on Amazon and Walmart and Target be anywhere from 11 to $14. I, I paid nine for them, nine, zero, zero, nine dollars even. Happy with that, I picked up seven, so it's 50% uh, it's off. So I got those right here for those that want to try to doubt. There's seven. Got too much junk on the floor. At this same Walmart, I was really shot to this, and I was mad they didn't have more. <coughs> I really like this manager. But anyway, this one doesn't have a sticker on it, but the tag on the shelf was marked clearance 50% off. 70802, Bad Cops Pursuit, it was $15. It's normally a $29 set. So that beat, uh, that was actually what I paid for them at Target when I found them on clearance. So it's rare that you can match Walmart's clearance to Target. Target usually beats them out. They only had one of that set and they only had one of the trash chomper and that one did have the sticker on it, you see. $15.00070805. I only had one of those. 15 bucks, can't beat it. So that was my Walmart run. I was really, uh, my theory on this particular Walmart, since it was smaller, it only had like a quarter of the Lego section that my honey, honey hole has. But it looks like what they do, as soon as something comes off the shelf, as far as shelf space for planogram and, and laying out everything, they just clearance it to get it out because they don't have a whole lot of storage area, don't have a whole lot of extra area. They had half an aisle dedicated for clearance and they had some more uh, Chima on clearance there good price but i just it wasn't in my budget to pick up that much today uh in chima so anyway toys r us they did have the galaxy squad that everybody else was loading up on but it was six bucks and i wasn't going to pay six bucks for it because i've already got enough of it to part out uh, i picked up all those uh, galaxy squad sets over the last year at my honey hole and some other Walmarts and stuff when they put them on sale. So I've got plenty of them. Um, so I didn't want to spit, you know, top any capital in more Galaxy Squad, but I picked up two of the superhero Guardians of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon Poly Bags. And I'll put those in my store. This is Bricks for Chris. I picked up a few things for Bricks for Chris right here. And then in this bag, as you can see, I can't remember exactly how many I had. It's all Series 13. And actually, I think today I found more hot dog guys than I did unicorns. They had a, two displays, one on each side of the aisle. One was picked over clean. It had four or five packets in it. The other, it's like they emptied two cases and hung them on pegs, so it wasn't the display box. I was able to find, I think, at least six hot dog guys. So what they probably did is open up two cases and just start hanging them. Um, and I, I can't even tell you how many total I've got here. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12. So I might have gotten six of each. I think I got, it's pretty close to it. So I'd say six unicorns, six hot dog guys right here. Next, went by my discount chain store and I have to go back there and get a couple more things. I'm in my pajamas so you can't comment on my pants. Um, usually I don't buy Chima, but it was 60% off retail prices. And these retail prices might be a little exaggerated. But anyway, I paid $10 for this set. I have a few more that I bought at another time. And I'm going to part them out, of course. 60% off that was like $4 and something. Not bad. Got that one. And the boxes are open because I cut them open in the store to verify the parts are in there. A lot of times these boxes are just crushed. Some of them are perfect condition. Uh, like this one was crushed on the end. I went ahead and cut it open. So, I mean, this was a $10 set, and I'll part it out. I don't have any. I'm going to have one more of this one. All right. At this same store, I picked up one tumbler. These were dollar forty a bag. And then City Set 303. One oh, and uh, stickers right on the dude's face. That's it right there. And I uh, don't know exactly. Probably just list these. I don't think I'm gonna part them out, but I parted that like five times what I paid for them. Let's say. All right, hold on. Can't laugh at my pajama pants. I work in all gray, sometimes dark gray. All right. I already parted out, what was it, six, seven of these? Seven? And I couldn't pass this one up. 60% off. The box was opened. As you can see, they wrote, over here, excuse me, they wrote the price on there. It took 60% off. I think you wrote it. Yep. 60% off right there. So I opened the box. It was crushed in, like, <laughs> you can see it's crushed in, and I cut the box open, he let me go right through it, and uh, all the bags are there, all the plates are in there, good, everything's good. And this one, same way, Cinderella's Romantic Castle, 6% off, this one was like $28, $30, something like that. Not bad. I don't have one of these, but everything's in there. So, I also picked up some more plastic tubs like those right there. And some more of those plastic tubs right there that I used to part out. Uh, these little things look great. Dollar Tree. I can stack them. So I'll put parts of them, stack them, and then go take them and put them in the trees. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's my Lego haul for the day. I appreciate you watching, like, and subscribe, and sharing. Follow me on Instagram at BrickStackers. And check out my BrickLink store, Brick House store, uh, all that kind of stuff if you need parts. Uh, I guess that's it. Y'all can just stack those bricks, guys. See ya. Goodbye.